Welcome after buzzers. We are here live in Invicta FC at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. I'm with MMAfighting.com's own Ariel Hawani. How are you? I'm doing great. You? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, how'd you like the fight tonight? I thought it was great. This is my first time at an Invicta show. Obviously, get to go to a lot of UFC shows, so it's always fun to see a different kind of show. I thought the action was good, the atmosphere was good. So yeah, I thought it was great and very smart, obviously, to do it the same weekend as a UFC event. Now, is it more the journalist or the fan here today? A uh, journalist. Yeah, I was covering the show. They tried to stop us doing the interviews earlier, yeah. but we fought the man. I think we, I think we won the battle. I think we won. Yeah, yeah. Uh, grab the mic for more. Okay. Yes. Go give it. Um, what do you think about UFC tomorrow? Who, who do you got? I'll tell do you a funny you... story about. Go that. ahead. When I first started doing uh, these interviews, it was uh, May of 2008, and I was at the first Elite XC on CBS press conference in New York City, and I was interviewing the great Gina Carano, and I was kind of doing the same thing where I wasn't putting the mic over, and she <laughs> called me out on it, and I never did it again. So I have a feeling you won't do that ever again. Never again. Yes. From the man himself, who got go. it from Gina Carano. Yes. Uh, what do you think about the fights tomorrow? Uh, who do you got? Do you make predictions, or are you kind of like, I don't make them until afterwards? No, or? no, no. Well, who makes a prediction afterwards? That's kind of... Jay makes predictions? Jay makes predictions. That's not cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, top fight is Ronda Rousey. I think Ronda Rousey will win. I think Holly Holm will win. Um, Ellenberger Koscheck is a tough one. I'm gonna go with Ellenberger, the younger guy. Tony Ferguson, I think, will win, and Alan Joban. That's my main card picks. How about that? You weren't you weren't looking for all five, were you? I don't know, man. I, I was gonna say the same thing. I got Zingano. Okay. What? I know. I mean, okay. I'm I'm going out there. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I told myself last time, John Jones versus Cormier. I unfortunately bet against John Jones. Of course, we saw how that worked out. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. If Rousey wins, I will never bet against Rousey again. I just think Zingano is the more... Uh, she's got the experience. R Rousey, uh, I, I think it's her time. I think, I think she's going to lose yeah. about. Look, I mean, everyone loses, right? At some point, very few people retire undefeated. That's why Floyd Mayweather is so special, at least right now. So it could be... I mean, a lot of people have said for a long time that Cat is her toughest fight, so... What's the best thing to happen, for Rousey to win or Rousey to lose, for the UFC? You know, that's a great question. I was talking about this with someone earlier in the day. Business-wise, I think you can make a very strong case that Katsangano is a better thing because the rematch will do more money than any other fight that the UFC could do for Ronda. Let's say it's Bech Cohea next. That's a great fight. I love the storyline. I love everything about it. But I think a rematch with Ronda looking for revenge does more money. Now, undefeated Ronda against Cyborg probably does more money, but right now it's not exactly on the table. So I think you can make a strong case that Ronda losing actually does bigger business the next time out. Who's the best pound for pound fighter in the UFC? John Jones, easy. I agree. We both agree. We both agree. And uh, real quick, who do you have at WrestleMania, Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar? So believe it or not, a lot of people think I'm like a big wrestling guy these days. I'm not. I keep my finger on, on the pulse. I don't feel Roman Reigns. I'm not, I'm not, to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, it seemed like they had the obvious match, Daniel Bryan underdog after everything he's been through against the big bad Brock Lesnar. Is, is that I, like I agree. Obvious? I think that was the way to go, but Why aren't they obviously, I mean. What are they doing with Daniel Bryan? I think he's going to be in the, the Intercontinental title match. Why? That was a champion. Does that mean, so since you're picking Brock, you mean, does that mean he's not going to come back no, to the I UFC? No, I didn't pick him. I just oh. said I'm not a big fan of Roman as a... You didn't agree with him as the face yes. of the WWE. I still think Brock hasn't decided just yet, which I think is great for WWE right now because it will lead to some intrigue going into, will he win, will he lose, will he stay, will he go? But um, it doesn't excite me very much. Forgot to mention, CM Punk. Yes. How do you think, uh, have you talked to him? Do you have to have you talked about it with his training at all? Yeah, I know yeah, you guys yeah. uh, usually have that annual interview in January. Yeah. You didn't have one this past year. Well, but we spoke to him in December, so it's okay. kind of the same thing. Um, he's doing great. He's feeling good. Two months in. So let's see. Hopefully in, you know, eight, nine months he'll make his debut. And look, CM Punk is a very prideful man. He's not going to do anything that's going to embarrass himself. So I expect good things. But good things from a guy who's 0-0. Good stuff. I mean, I think that he's going to fight somebody who is new. Obviously, they're going to put that him against them. Um, I, I really want to see him do well because I think it's best for him, uh, good for business. Uh, I really hope he does well. I mean, who doesn't? Who, knows? who doesn't? Anyone who doesn't. I mean, I, I, a lot of I think a lot of wrestling fans don't want to him see him doing well. No, they do. They you do. So? Yeah, they do. All right. Well, thank you so much, Eri Hawani. It's yes. been a pleasure. AfterBuzzTV's MMAfighting.com and AfterBuzzTV.com. Thank you so much.